PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. Awesome to see you here again today. Hey, you know what I've done guys? I went and brought myself another bloody plasma cutter here. But she's a bit different this one. I always haven't rated the plasma cutters that have the built-in compressor. I thought they were a bit junky and a piece of junk. So there's only one way to find out for certain. I thought to myself, I thought to myself, you better go and buy yourself one, Pete. So that's what I've done. But don't tell my missus because she's going to kill me if you find out I spent any more money on plasma cutters. Anyway, this one here is one of my favourite plasma cutters, but once again you need a compressor to run it, whereas we'll see how this thing goes. Yeah guys, if you like my videos, remember to subscribe and drop me a like, drop me a comment, and let's get on with this, eh? See if this thing actually works or not. So this machine here, guys, it's all self-contained. It is a 40 amp machine. I don't know if you can see it there. We're running at 40 amps. It goes right from 15 to 40 amps. It has an internal and an external compressor, so you can either plug your big compressor into the back of it, or you can use the internal. You can use it just as a compressor as well, just to pump stuff up. And it's got a heavy and a low loading here. Once again, guys, it's Pilot Art. Here, the compressor start up straight away. That's the internal compressor, guys, so you don't need an external compressor. But it'll be interesting to see what it'll cut with the internal compressor. Because I've heard a lot of things about these machines that they don't cut very well unless you plug them into a bigger compressor. So we'll wait and see and we'll have a look. So what we've got here, guys, is about 3mm plate. This is what they make trailers and that sort of thing out of. It's not ship metal by any stretch of the imagination. So we've got no external air on this machine here. So we'll kick it in the guts, see what happens. We'll set it up to 25 amp maybe, 25 amp there guys, can you see that? We've got it set to the internal compressor, light cut. Right, see how it goes, eh? Yeah! Right, anyway, guys, let's see if we'll even cut. Your guess is as good as mine, first time I've ever used this machine. Struggling a little bit guys, we'll give it a bit more grunt I think. Actually we'll give it the whole 40 amps, see what it does. Let me put my gloves on guys to pick that up. I've already burnt myself three times today, so I better wear some gloves. There we are guys, not too bad a cut. It didn't cut out or anything silly like that. Under its own compressor power. That's not too bad actually. Let's try and cut something a little bit thicker, eh? Right guys, now we've got something thicker again. This is about five millimeters. This is real steel. It's the real deal, real deal steel guys. So we'll see if it'll cut this. Put your gloves on quick before you burn yourself, you silly idiot. Like I say, guys, don't tell the wife I bought another bloody plasma cutter, she'll kill me. Anyway, let's see if this works. Now this is quite thick, guys. Shit, that's hot as well. <laughs> now that's five. Ow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, see my gloves smoking there, guys? Now that's five mil, guys. Now that is real steel. Like if you're out on a work site or something and you don't have access to a compressor, you just want something you can just plug into the wall socket and get on with it. You can really do some damage with that. That's a, You could actually do truck decks and all sorts of things with that. Quite impressed so far. Shit, drop that piece. It's hot. Woohoo! What do you reckon guys? You reckon that'll cut anything any thicker? Let's have a go! Right guys, the only thing I could find in my workshop that was about 10, 11 mil thick like this. This is thick shit, mate. It's as about as thick as what I am. <laughs> it's an old weight. It's half a weight that I used to cut up. So we'll see if this little bugger will cut through this with its own compressor. I've got my doubts, but let's have a go! Now normally, when I'm cutting this sort of stuff, even if I cut two or three inches, I've got my big air compressor running and it blows the fuses and it does all sorts of crap. So I've got my doubts. But anyway, we shall see what we shall see. Yee 
Yeah, what are you reckon about that, guys? I'm quite impressed with that. That would be ideal if you want to cut some bolts or something when you're working out on site and you get out know, crawling under your truck and you need to get rid of a 10 mil bolt or something that you can't get out because it's rusted for an internal compressor. I am quite impressed. So another thing I discovered, guys, not only is it pilot arc, what you do is if you go up here and you go from cut to ear, you can use it as an ear blower as well. Is that cool or is that cool? <laughs> So guys, I know this video was pretty short, but I only received the thing yesterday. I just couldn't wait to see how it cut for the first time. So you've seen it as much as what I did. Um, like I say, I was never impressed reading the reviews and that sort of thing of these machines here with the built-in air compressor. But i got to say, so far, I like what I'm seeing. It would be a hell of a lot more handy just to have this on a work site than having to drag a big, huge compressor around. And like I showed you when I was cutting that 10 mil stuff, I normally have to have a three, four horsepower compressor running my plasma cutter to even to cut through that. So with something this small, mind you, it's 20 kilos, but I mean, it's still a small machine compared to if you had to drag your compressor all over the work site. I reckon this was pretty good value. But anyway, time will tell. Like I say, just a really, really quick video because I couldn't wait to show you fellas because it's like Christmas around here where I get a new machine. Yeah, we can't wait. You know how it is. Crazy old git. Anyway, guys, I'll do some more in-depth stuff on it and we'll compare it to the one with the air compressor and one without an air compressor and we'll do all sorts of weird and wonderful things. But anyway, same as usual. If you like my video, subscribe. Drop me a like. Drop me a video. You guys know what to do. See you next time. Bye. Peachtools.com.com.com. Thank you.